Hey guys, what's up? It's a British fanboy here and I've got another commentary for you today. It's quite a special commentary this one because I'm actually doing it with a little team almost. Like I have got Dualshock Gamer here with me. He's just opened up a new Call of Duty channel to go along with his Dualshock Gamer channel. Say hello Dualshock Gamer. What is up guys? Dualshock Gamer here, aka FBS Stealth as well. That's him, yes, that's right. And also, the gameplay you were looking at is not my gameplay, and it's not Dualshock Gamers either, believe it or not. It's someone else's. It's by a fellow named DSR7, who's on my friends list. Oh, wait, he does have... wait, 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 I think he's on my PSN list. Yeah, he's on my PSN list too. High five. Wait, but, wait, uh... he's got, um, like, every prestige edition of, like, every game. Yeah, he's a good gamer, what can I say? <laughs> Anyways, he's got a little bit of Team Death matches in the MP5K on Call of Duty COD Bops. Good old cop bops. I'm liking it a lot, but um, Dual Shot Gamer hasn't got his copy yet. Fucking postman. I mean, don't blame the postman. Blame the post service. I'm sure the postman had nothing to do with it. Fucking postman. <laughs> and if you guys don't know, the British Postal Service, in just it's not very good. You know, it's a little bit slow. They strike a lot and stuff like that. I'm like, you know, your job is to give me a letter. Just yeah. do it. Or a parcel. Or a parcel. Yeah. You know. But look, how do you even know it's the postman's fault though? Because I said so. And that's usually yeah, what I say. What if, it, look, what if he got hit by a car <laughs> delivering the parcel to your house? How would you feel then? Um, he can crawl hey, like, <laughs> with the what parcel car? to my house. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, I, I think you just really want your copy of Black Ops and you can't think of us to why it's so late. You probably only ordered it last night. Nah, like before launch day. <laughs> That's hilarious. I didn't pre-order it or anything, and I got it launch day. Yeah, but the thing like is, launch, I was like, like launch hour. No, I'm not buying it. My mum's friend's buying it, so then he pre-ordered it for me, meaning I had like £75 to just spend on nothing, so I bought some PX21s. I bet he kept it himself. I bet he's playing it right now. Well, he doesn't think, ah, that George Rock gamer. <laughs> he doesn't know he... I make YouTube videos. <laughs> well, you know, he, he knows that you've got an expensive game, which he could just keep for himself. Oh, true that. True. Wait, true, have, true. We, have we got a topic for this video? Um, shit. We're going to talk shit. No, oh, nice. That's what I do best. Nice, nice. Yeah. Uh, I know you do, that's for darn sure. Anyways, it's actually quite strange looking at this commentary because I watched the video which was sent to me earlier and it's strange to know that I'm currently commentating and so are you. Someone else's gameplay. Just to see the different kind of playing styles and stuff, what's going on and stuff. Like he's using flashbangs a lot and then rushing with the MP5K and stuff. And it's just so bizarre to see someone else's gameplay. Like me, I'm very run and gun. I generally think shoot first. Even if a guy's like one foot away from me, I'll think shoot, not knife and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, same, but I'm a drop shotter, so I just dive to the floor. It's oh, like, ah! you see, in Black Ops, that could be harder for you, actually. Because if you are sprinting and then you try drop shotting, you'll just do it just one dive forward. Oh. Yeah, but can't you turn it off in the settings? I do not know. I shall I have to give it a go. I think it was, uh, what's his name? JD2020 or something. Um, oh, no. Said that you can, like, turn it off in the settings if you didn't want it. Oh, I'll have to have a look at that and stuff. How's I haven't it? really found any. How's the fit mode running it? Shit. Ah, oh, really? I mean, it's still in beta stage, mode. isn't it? If you go to the website, it says fit really mode in beta out. stage. It, it, it's not perfect right now. So when you when it works, it works really, really well. You know, you can go to your theater mode. It remembers all of your games for a week. So that's a pretty long How time. How would you upload you them on the PS3? Out. Can you upload them straight from the PS3? No. So what you, you still have need to do? a capture card. Really, what to capture it from theater mode? Yeah, That's you need a capture card. Hard, Why? You've got a capture card. Yeah, but it's effort. <laughs> Actually, that makes it easy for me because then I don't have to play in SD because then I can but just wait until it's done and That's, then I can just go theater that's mode. That's true in your case, yeah. But the biggest problem with the theater mode is what I'm going to bring up now is that I know other people have had problems with this, like Blue Revolver, aka Knees Deep, has had trouble with it. I've had trouble with it, and I'm sure other people have had trouble with it as well. Is that it doesn't necessarily always save your game. But Sometimes I you might get all. the last five minutes of a game, other times you don't get the game at all. I got a 67 and 7 on Black Ops in Headquarters, and it didn't save it. Oh, I love Headquarters, I'm so pro at that. With these PX21s today, me and like five guys just running around, I went like 55 and 20. Yeah, Headquarters, like the rest of Call of Duty games and stuff, it's been proven that Headquarters is the best way to get XP quickly. Because you can easily come out of a game of Headquarters on Black Ops with 2,000 plus points. And you need, you know, the level I'm at now, I need like 
22,000 points to get to the next level. So in theory, you know, that's like 10 games. It's ahead over 9,000. Over 9,000. But uh, <laughs> I, I don't even like that program. But oh. anyway, so that's that. Same. It's a bit annoying. It was fucking confusing as. I, I generally don't really like anime at all, to tell you the truth. One Piece, that's the only many anime I've been watching. Well, one anime which I admit that I did enjoy, well, didn't enjoy, got sad, was a film called Grave of the Fireflies. That was one of the most heartbreaking things I've ever seen in my life. It was, uh, if anyone's seen it, they'll understand. It's about two children, well, like one 14-year-old and one maybe four or five-year-old. And their parents are killed during the Americans' firebombing raids during World War Two. Batman and these, <laughs> jokes. <laughs> and then these two are forced. These two kids are forced to live in the forests and stuff, and they have no food, and they are slowly dying of radiation poisoning and stuff from all the fog, from all the fires and stuff like that. And they keep thinking that they're seeing fireflies and stuff in the air, but it's actually just their eyes rotting inside and showing strange lights. It's a horrible film, but Sounds it's worth watching. Sounds scary. It's guess a what, very sad can you, film. Can you guess what I'm squeezing right now? Your balls. It, it's in the shape of a ball. Uh, a boob. No. <laughs> no? Oh, I didn't think so. What is it? PlayStation Move, Squidgy. Okay, you, you're playing with your move dildo. That's good for you. Good for you. It's so I haven't really good. used my PlayStation. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's the film? It's so fluffy, I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, that film's funny. Am I the only one who has no idea what he's on about? It's so fluffy, I'm going to die! I'll, I'll have to show you the link later. That's <laughs> funny as. Ah, uh, you can keep it to yourself, don't worry about that, mate. Keep it if anyone knows what that is, leave it in the comments. Um, retarded, that's what it sounds like. Someone's gonna anyways, know what that is. I'm sure someone will know, but, um... God help them. But anyway, so, what else could I talk about and stuff? My uh, latest oh, yeah. Facebook status, oh my god, Justin Bieber of my day, little Chris. Please don't mention Justin Bieber. <laughs> uh, I was looking at Lord Voldemort's Twitter earlier today. Yeah, Lord Voldemort's got a Twitter. Check that out. It's just funny as hell. What the fuck? Yeah, it, it's so funny. That's and, like having uh, a Twitter for, like, um, a bear. Shit. <laughs> like, not. A clock. They're so funny. It, it, he writes things like, If you woke up in the morning feeling happy, it's only because I let you. And stuff like that. It's just so <laughs> funny. And he put a thing saying, Justin Bieber has been killed. More letters on South Park. I saw that in the newspaper, and it's meant to be misleading, they say. Damn it. <laughs> it was just like, oh, yeah. damn it. I read that, and I thought, well, maybe he's serious. Well, I don't know. Maybe he'll die to coincide with the movie coming out next year. Do you know what? I really yes. like this sticker I got with my PX21s. I don't know where my sticker's gone. It's oh, a, here it is. It says, play, is it green? Like it says, play pro. like a pro. Yeah. yeah. I've got that. I might stick that on my Hapag or something. I don't know. I, I stuck it on my Santa Road. No, I might stick it on my Hapag. But then again, I won't be able to sell it one day if I ever do do that. Say, if I ever hang up the mantle. You know, where if I put, put the microphone away and just give up doing commentary? I don't know. You can become a turtle lover. A turtle lover? I like turtles. I like turtles. That little kid, you know, where's he gonna be? Where's he gonna be in 10 years? Uh, turtle sanctuary. <laughs> no, <but> look. <laughs> He's gonna be rich and famous or something, I don't know. Yeah. Wait, you still haven't seen Cloudy with a Chance of Evils, have you? No. Steve. Well, why the hell would you mention that? Because that, that, that monkey that, that, is amazing. That makes no sense. <laughs> but the monkey is the coolest thing ever. I'm the coolest thing ever. Okay, guys, so that's it. Just off to the end of the commentary now. So remember to subscribe to me, British Fanboy, over at BFB Comms. And remember to send in your clips from Black Ops, Uncharted 2, and all those other games which you enjoy playing, like Twister and stuff. And remember to <laughs> go subscribe to <coughs> subscribe to the Dual Shot Game and all of his channels. Anything else to say before we go, man? Um, I like turtles. He likes turtles. I like midget hookers. We all have our own individual things. See you around, guys. Peace out. Peace.